Well, it doesn't look like anybody's been in here recently. And hopefully, it'll be a little bit of time before it rains. And wow, I don't think I've ever seen the water so low, which could be good for us. So, we're at the swimming hole because it's undoubtedly absolutely going to rain within a couple hours. And uh, I just wanted to get out and do something quick. Look at this. Not that in the past I've spent much time down here at the water, but the times that I have come down, I've never seen it this low. Cool, all right, well. That's it, we're just out for fun. We have a little bit of time, and let's see what we can find. One penny. Two pennies. Just been able to be down here, right off the edge, and not in the water. It's pretty cool. Bottle cap. At least it's local. Wachusett Brewing Company. Somebody won't appreciate that piece of glass. Fishing stuff. So we got copper. This is the uh, edge that I'm curious about. I'm standing in where the water normally is. There's just this narrow path that runs along the edge. And typically in the past, this is where the stuff has been. Cool, we'll take copper. Clad dime. Newer penny. Another new penny. That wind is horrific out there. So typically in the past, when I've detected down here, the older stuff has been off to the side here where it's grown back in. Being that we have the old parking lot cellar hole up there, I can imagine decades and decades ago this was pretty wide open. That's typically where we find the old stuff. I'm gonna stay off the open water because of the wind. Just make my way through this stuff. Jeez. Heineken caps sound good, I guess. Yeah, it looks like a quarter. Hello, George. I think it says 1980. He's got a crazy color to it. Well, that's cool. A little bit older back here in the tree line. That's what we're hoping for. Yeah, again, just fun today. It's good target practice too. But again, this was clear up to where the people park and the house was. And all even in through here, through the years, there's been plenty of 
older coins, silver, and relics. Yeah, good thing we check. More. Actually, it might be in what we tossed out. Yep. A dime. Not gonna see a date off that. Still, cool. Goes a dime. Well, this is a mixed batch. Bottle cap. And a can. And more can. And a bottle cap. No machine required for that one. Surface fine. Tell you coming down late in the season gives me the opportunity to move around a bit more because there's nobody else down here, which is good. But this section I've wandered into wow, trash is crazy. So I'm just pretty much shooting for high signals. Well, there was a penny in there. That's probably why it sounds crazy. Because there's several. Yep. Memorial. And more. One. Two. Oh. Quarter. Dime. Penny. Another quarter, another penny. We got us an exciting little spill here. Another penny. Oh, the rare nickel, another penny. Wow, it ain't stopping. Another quarter, another nickel, penny. Somebody lost it all. Dime. I think that's it for that one. Let's see what the grand total is. All right. That was one spot 95 a dollar 22 for one spill that's pretty good <laughs> actually that's a lot of droppage well, this was actually a lot of fun let's see what we have for a grand total at the place we've been detecting for years that is actually quite the pocket full of change huh yeah, it's starting to rain on me, so we're definitely going to get out of here. Dollar seventy-five. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, for somebody who's always relic hunting, that, that's a lot of coins for me. Even if they're new. You know, just always being out in the woods, we don't... We don't find that amount of change 
in general so thanks for joining me go out have fun doesn't matter what you find just find stuff and enjoy doing what you do